Hello and welcome to Film Speak This Week. I am Andy Rory. Africa is at a loss following the demise of Rumba and Lingala maestro Papa Wemba, who collapsed and died while performing in Abidjan. Papa Wemba is well known for his successful music career that has placed Africa on the global map. He was not just a musician, but also an actor with a unique sense of style. Let's take a look at his theatrical life. Take me by the end, show me the way I can go. Take me by the end, show me the way. The king of Roomba, Papa Wemba, is no more. But one thing will forever remain in our minds, his music. Born Shungu Wabadio Peneki Kumba in the year 1949, but known by a name given by his mother, Papa, for he was the firstborn son. Papa Wemba's music started at a tender age since he used to accompany his mother, a professional mourner, to funeral services where he fell in love with music. Soon, he joined the church as Kenta of the parish and developed an impressive musical voice that started shaping his music style. The rest, as they say, was history. He quickly rose to stardom and was internationally recognized. In the year 1987, he participated in a French musical film titled La Vie est Belle, meaning Life is Rosy. It was filmed in Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo, directed by Nangura Mwenze and Boni Lame. It is a story of a poor village boy with nothing but a musical dream and hopes of performing on a big stage. He hops on the back of a truck and heads to the city, Kinshasa, to realize his music career. Unfortunately, the truck hits a bump and Kaoru, played by Papa Wemba, loses his only musical instrument. Once he gets to the city, no one believes in his music dream and gets no chance of joining the orchestra he loves. The owner of the orchestra, a tycoon, gives him a job but not as a musician but a servant. According to film critics, Papa Wemba's energetic acting and singing gives the film an upper hand. <laughs> from conflict to conflict, the poor boy from the village finally gets a chance to perform on the big stage, making his life rosy. <laughs> According to Fred Machoka, a celebrated radio host and a man who has countlessly met Papa Wemba, talks about his memorable moments with him. Papa Wemba had talent. Mm. When he was on stage, you could see the talent. Mm. And when he did this film, though it's been uh, uh, close to 30 years since he did the film, I, I wasn't surprised. Mm. I think he was that kind of guy. Outside his acting career, Papa Wemba was the driving force behind the dress style of the Saper, young men who spent large amounts of money on designers' clothing. The last time I met Papa Wemba, I wanted to interview him. I was told, no, he has to dress up. I said, it's a radio interview, for heaven's sake. If it is radio, they don't have to worry too much about how they look. But Papa Wemba wanted to dress right. In Europe, he was also known as the Pope of Saper, the society of posers and elegant people. Congo's cultural minister said, it is a great loss for Congo and for all of Africa. He was a self-made man and a role model to the Congolese youth. Papa Wemba collapsed on stage in Abidjan during a performance and died shortly after. 
you know what they say in Lingala? Liwa is Ali Zelaya Motunyoso. You know, death is everybody's to go through. A big loss indeed for Africa. Remember, you can watch the film for free. All you have to do is search for it on YouTube. Well, that's all the time we had for you this week on Film Speak. Do join me next week for more.